Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and in this session, we are going to create our project structure for our automation testing framework. This is going to be very easy and very interesting. So we will create our project structure where we will add the required files and folders and we will see what is the use of each file and folder. And then after setting up everything in our existing project, we will add these files, folders and whatever a scripts code is needed we will add that and then finally we'll run and verify that everything is working fine so this will be very interesting and i will start from scratch so do not worry if you are a complete beginner please do hands on along with me and whenever you face any issues you can let me know so let's get started and let us see step number one is let us check the required libraries are already installed so we are going to use our existing project that we have been creating in the last session. So just in case you are completely new and you have not yet created the project, you can watch the earlier session. I will go and open my VS code and this is my project already added here. Okay, and here, uh, let me also, because we had used a Python environment, I will activate the environment by giving the environment name scripts and activate. So this is on Windows. I have already shown you other commands if you're on Mac, what you should use. So all that we have discussed earlier. So now I'm on my environment. Let me also expand this terminal. Now I can say pip list or I can also say pip freeze to check all the libraries that we have added. So we have Playwright, we have uh, PyTest, Playwright is there and everything that we have already done until now, that's all fine. We will continue from there. You can also use pip freeze to see the libraries added okay so we already have all these libraries added to our project now on the root project folder we are going to create these subfolders so you can do this manually or you can go to the command line or terminal and first go to your project folder and then using the mkdir command we will make these folders that is tests pages utils and reports so you can either do it from command line using these commands or let me just do it manually in my project so this is my project okay so i will create a new folder using this new folder button and i will say we have pages then you can see the tests folder we already created in the last session. So this I do not need. I will create another folder called uh, utils. And I think this is going inside test. So I'll have to select my root folder and say utils. Okay, so this is created. Utils is there, tests is there. And then we have pages created. Okay, so we have tests pages utils let me also create a folder for report so i will again select my root project folder and say reports so that all my reports will go inside this okay now you can uh, for now let us just continue here so don't worry about anything else don't worry about all thing or everything that is already there we will fix that we will clean that up so as of now we have created these folders now we are going to create a file called conftest.py in the root folder so make sure that this is this goes in the root folder of the project that is just below the project folder just inside the project folder and i will tell you in a moment what it does and how to use it so let us first create the file so i am going to my project folder here and create a new file i will call it as conftest.py okay and hit enter and the file is created here okay and all these things in case you want you can just do it manually from the uh, file explorer so if you go inside your project folder so this is my project if you want you can also manually add these folders like pages tests reports utils all that is okay okay now we have created our conftest.py file so let us 
first discuss what this file is and how to use it so let's take a scenario let's imagine that you have 10 tests or you are you are testing 10 different websites and for every test you have to do some common things for example you have to open the browser you have to open a new tab of the browser and then you will have to uh, you know close the browser close the tab and close the browser at the end so instead of doing this every time again and again for each and every test you can put this common code inside a file called conftest.py and we can actually create a fixture i will show you in a moment what is fixture and how to create that and then you can use this in your test so in, instead of repeating the code you can add this in conftest.py and we can define that once as a fixture and then use it in our tests okay so here let us see what to do let us first add this code now here you will see this is basically two functions here this is one function which is called browser i will keep this code in the description or once i upload my project on github i will also keep a link to my project so you can copy from there as well okay so this is a function called browser in this function we are opening a new browser we are opening a chromium browser in a headed mode when we say headless false that means it is headed that is the browser will be shown physical browser will come up and then we are saying yield browser that means we will let this to be used by the test and then after that we will close the browser okay so all this command that is after yield browser will be executed after the test is over or after the session is over okay so this scope is session okay now this is just a function named browser but when we add this annotation at pytest.fixture at the top of this function this becomes a fixture and now this can be used by any of our tests okay similarly this is again a function called page now this page function calls the browser for browser fixture you can see it is calling the browser fixture here and then after the browser is opened here it is opening a new tab or a new page in the browser and then when we say yield page it will let the test use it and at the end it will close the tab okay so in our test if we call this uh, this is again a fixture because we have added this annotation here so now this becomes a fixture so in our test when we call this page fixture it will first call the browser fixture which will open the browser with all the settings that we have done and then it will then open a new page and then it will close the page at the end of the test and then at the end of the session it will close the browser so now we do not have to add all this code again and again in every test we just have to call the page fixture which and which i will show you in a moment okay so first let us just copy this and add it to our conftest.py okay so i will go to my file here and paste this thing okay so this is now added here and just in case you find anything difficult here or if you're not getting anything you can let me know in the comment section or just wait by the end of this session you should get most of these things so we have added this code here which is actually two fixtures the page fixture and the browser fixture the page fixture is in turn calling the browser fixture also you can check this so if i hover over this browser fixture and i i press control on my keyboard you can see this turns into a link and when i click this link you can see it is highlighting this browser let me again show you so when i click this link by after pressing control it is highlighting this that means it is calling this function here or this fixture here make sure that you save your file and project okay now this gives this fixture here the browser fixture starts the browser once per session and then yield lets the test use the browser and after the tests are done it will close the browser as i had i have already explained and then the page fixture which uses the browser fixture and then the browser fixture after it opens the browser this page fixture will open a new page or a new tab in the browser and then yield page gives the test a fresh tab and after the test is done it will close the tab or close the page okay so in our test we just have to call this 
fixture like this so you can see we are just calling the page fixture in our test function we just pass this page fixture and then all these things will be taken care and we do not have to repeat it for every test and then we can continue with our test we can directly then say page dot go to instead of opening the browser opening the page and any other settings you want to do for example you want to set a timeout for your browser or for your page uh, or whatever you want to do you can add it here instead of adding it in our tests so the our code becomes re reusable we don't have to add it again and again in our tests our test becomes very clean and everything becomes very efficient okay so this is done and as we have already seen what's a fixture a fixture is a reusable piece of code that sets something up before a test runs and can clean it up afterwards so now in this contest.py whatever you want to add maybe at a global level you want to do something or you want to do something before starting every test after uh, ending every test before starting the browser after you know closing the browser or whatever is your requirements you can add it in your conftest.py file okay so we are done with step number four step number five is we will keep all our test files inside the tests folder so if you have any of the tests created like we have created some tests earlier you can keep your tests inside the tests folder okay now in the last session we already had created this test at which is already inside the tests folder if you want the other tests you can also put them however in our project in the first session we had not added pytest and the first test that you see here first test.py was not a pytest so if you, even if you want to leave it outside or delete it or just keep it somewhere so that it is still available you can do that and still uh, this also test sample.py these two tests were there you can try putting at this inside tests and then try but i'm not sure if it is they are not pi tests they we created them before we added the pi test plugin so let's keep them for now as it is and after we test everything we can then move these files okay the next step is we are now going to create a file called pytest.ini in the root folder and then add the options so i will tell you what it is and what to do with pytest but for now make sure that you add this file in the root project folder like we have done for conftest.py i will create a new file i will call this as pytest.ini okay and it is created here okay now this pytest.ini you can see and you can guess what it does these are the command line options that we use with our pytest command and we have seen this in the earlier session so you can see for all these options like if we want to run our browser in a headed mode the browser we want to run the html reports uh, if we have to create the reports what is the directory or where should we keep the reports okay uh, test path where should we see the tests and then slow motion 200 milliseconds so it will run the steps in a slow motion or slow down by 200 milliseconds just so that you can see everything running so whatever is the need you can put all these options in this file and put pytest at the top that means all this will be used with the pytest command okay so this is the configuration file used by pytest to control how your tests run without having to type long command line options again and again so all this will be taken from here you just have to run the pytest command without adding all these options and then suppose if you have to override something for example instead of headed you want headless so you can then say pytest and you can add this command while running the command and it, that will be overrided that means this will be overrided by whatever you use with the command otherwise it will be taken from here okay so we just have to run pytest now and don't worry about all these options okay so this auto sets head full mode chromium browser generates html report or whatever other options you want you can add them here so let us just take it and put it in our file so i'll copy it and paste it here and save the file okay make sure that you save all your files and project all right we have done this step 
Now next step is optional. We can create a requirements.txt file and we can uh, put all our packages that we are using along with their versions in this file so that it will be easier for others or for ourselves whenever we have to see what are the packages there what are what are the uh, the versions added in this project we can see that and if somebody else wants to use the same packages with the same versions they can also use this file okay so what we are going to do is we are going to run the pip freeze command now pip freeze command will give us all the all our packages along with their version so if i show you let me expand this terminal window and I say pip freeze so you can see all all that which is available in this environment that we are using for our project python environment is shown here and then if I say pip freeze and use this conical bracket that means I want to output the result of this command in a file called requirements.txt okay and even if it is not created it will create the file so this is requirements.txt and I hit enter and you will see the file is get, got created here okay so if I see this is the file and everything has come here okay now if somebody wants to copy all this and create a new project by using the same packages and the same version they can just create a python project and then run this command pip install hyphen r requirements.txt so they can just take this file from our project or from us and then in in their python project run this command pip install hyphen r requirements.txt so it will install the same packages with the same version which are mentioned in this file okay so this is an optional step if you want you can keep this in your project okay now we are done with everything make sure that you save everything and let us now run our project and now we just have to run one command that is pytest and hit enter and this should run with all the configurations and settings that we have done so it is going to the test folder and running our test as per all the settings we have done also if you see your tests folder and see the test that we are using this is the test we created in the last session and if you see it is using the page fixture just to verify that it is using our fixture you can hover over this page and press control on your keyboard it will turn into a link and click it you can see it is taking us to this page fixture so this is using now our fixture and our test our command is running with all these options that we have added in our pytest.ini alright so here in our project structure we have the tests folder where all, all our test scripts will go we have a pages folder now in this session we have not added the pages file we will see that in the next session how do we create page object model design for our framework by adding all our objects in a separate files under pages folder so this we will see our confidence.py all our settings browser settings fixtures will go here pytest for all the configuration that we have to run from command utils is there so if you add any helpers in future you can put them in utils folder and then report screenshot etc it can be auto generated by command or you can keep this folder in your project structure okay so this is how we can create a project structure for our testing framework i hope this was useful if you face any issues while doing hands-on please let me know and I will see you in the next session. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.